election. What's at stake here? The proof, which seems to be pretty strong on the side of the prosecution. These kinds of cases usually work themselves out, don't they? Yeah, they do, Vinny. And I've handled a lot of cases like this in my career. And it is very interesting because the facts clearly show that there was theft by deception and why that particular case did not get resolved. Obviously, only the state and the defense can speak to that. But I'd like to think that in this particular case, there was a great amount of effort in order to resolve this particular matter before it went to trial. The reason why we're going to trial, but it also could be from a defense perspective, the reason why these witnesses are testifying the way they are, because there's something else very big at stake, which is the custody of the children. Well, certainly that's an issue, especially an issue for a defendant and a defense attorney. However, it sounds like the reason why this case was not resolved was for all the other reasons other than what the facts of the actual case were. And as a matter of fact, if I recall the case correctly, there was actually some pretrial motions filed in order to change the venue from this particular county to another county. And I think that would have been deemed to be appropriate given the fact that this entire community was up in arms about what took place. And more than likely, she couldn't get a fair trial based on the fact that everybody in that courtroom was somehow affected by this particular incident. Michael, Christian, our field producer, you were there. Uh, Trayvon Martin didn't know George Zimmerman. George Zimmerman didn't know Trayvon Martin. So any reputation that anyone had or anyone that either one of them did before they met that night, to me, is irrelevant. What well, do you think? I, 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 to a certain extent, agree with you 100%. I know Mark O'Meara. I have a case with him. He's a well-seasoned attorney. The problem that I have is that none of the evidence which they're going to try to bring out is evidence that the defendant knew existed at the time. And this is a reasonableness standard in the way in which he acted. So while propensity and those types of things are very, very important, it's also important to try to tie that into what the defendant knew at the time he committed that act. I think that's going to be the difficult part for the defense to get across to a jury, assuming this evidence is introduced. You know, Mike, another part of this is, is that uh, Mark O'Mara talks about hearing that uh, Trayvon Martin may have been... Adam Swickle, how about that? The, you know, it's clear from his own words and from his own phone call to police that George Zimmerman was driving his car, got out of his car, and was pursuing Trayvon Martin. Those are his words, not mine. Um, the actual confrontation, is, is it important who throws the first punch? Or is it important how this confrontation begins? Or will it be enough that Trayvon Martin is being pursued by some stranger who got out of his car? I think all of it is important for you to consider when dealing with this because we are dealing with reasonableness. And let's face it, we're never really going to know exactly what happened out there on that particular day because one of the individuals who could have shed light on it, unfortunately, is now dead. But I absolutely think his following of the individual his history dealing with this weapon. I think that was a fantastic point, that the defense better be careful. They just may get what they wish for. If they bring out the past of this young gentleman, then that may open up the door for their client's past to come in. And all of these things are going to be very, very important factors in determining whether or not the stand your ground law was effectuated in this particular case. You know, Mike Brooks, when you talk about the mindset of George Zimmerman, uh, we can't forget the, the statement he makes, these bleeps always get away. Right. I mean,